the Atantano Valley. Our ancestors knew the value of this land, well watered from mountain streams. Many Lati stones in the valley show us that many people once lived off this land. In Spanish times, a Santa Cruz or Holy Cross was erected to commemorate the building of roads and coconut plantations. But this famous marker also tells us that rice was highly valued as an important crop. In 1832, Spanish Governor Villalobos and the Chamorro municipal officials planted a rice plantation in this valley. We know from the imprints of rice grains on ancient pottery that our ancestors grew and ate rice long before the Spaniards came to the Marianas. The fact that we have indigenous words for rice in all its stages also shows that rice is one food our ancestors ate. Fa'i for rice seedlings, ugas for uncooked harvested rice, and hinexa for cooked rice. Later, the Spaniards brought corn to the Marianas and it quickly became the main starch or agun in the Chamorro diet, from titizas to atulenilotis. Corn was easier to grow, whereas the rice grown on Guam needed well-watered wetlands. Atantano's terrain was one such wetland. So hopeful were the government and farmers that Atantano would yield a bountiful harvest of rice that they gave the marshland a religious name after the Immaculate Conception of the Virgin Mary. Despite the hardships of growing rice, people kept trying. In 1867, a private company of both Spanish and Chamorro investors brought in Japanese workers to plant rice in Atantano. When the company folded due to setbacks, Chamorro farmers bought the land at government auction. Right up to American times, farmland in Atantano was highly sought. When the Japanese occupied the island in World War II, people had to go back to farming because no ships were able to import food. The Japanese ordered the Chamorro farmers not only to grow food to feed the local population, but also to feed the Japanese troops. Rice was a huge part of the Japanese diet, so the Japanese ordered rice farming wherever there was wetlands to do it. Rice growing in Atantano continued. After the war, military, government, and private employment was plentiful, and most people gave up farming as a livelihood. Rice farming in Atantano also disappeared. But this beloved Santa Cruz shrine in Atantano serves as a permanent reminder of the great ambition so many people had in the past that Atantano would be a rich source of rice for the island. In honor of our ancestors and forebearers who worked hard on this land, we gather to pay them tribute and keep alive their memory. <laughs>